Is it all about tampo, Roger? If there's no language barrier, there would be more than just tampo. There's no room for you to talk. You need to have the agility as a cat. Yeah. Anything that she can grab. Oh, I don't think so. That Filipinas are shy. Filipinas are timid. No, there are Filipino women that they would act that it's okay. Oh, you don't want to argue with me because you don't have words to say, right? Welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Asmi. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Asmi Vlogs. So today's subject, Filipina is not all about tampo. Oh, what is that, Asmi, huh? Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos so guys if you're interested about filipino food and you're craving for different types of food visit my youtube channel guys eat with f me <laughs> yeah we'll put the link on the description please support esme's channel Thank you so much, guys. Is it all about tampo, Roger? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the reality, guys. If there's no language barrier, there would be more than just tampo. Correct. Because, you know, guys, Western women, they can express their emotion, their anger, right? Yes. The reason why Filipino women would just give you the cold shoulder, and this is some of the reason, is because they cannot express their emotions through words because they don't know what's the word to use. Yeah, they only have limited vocabulary. And that's the truth. That's really the sad truth, guys. They cannot express what to say to you because they don't know what the word that they would use. That is why most of you guys would say that, you know, Filipinas are jealous. They're on tampo all the time. They just give you the cold shoulder, the silent treatment. But the reality is just they dodging the truth that they, <laughs> they cannot argue with you when, when it comes to word by word so now th this is the reality right now guys that we have to to share with you maybe <laughs> you don't know this <laughs> and you cannot experience this because what you experience right now is just the silent treatment but this is the truth about arguing with a filipina especially like having a relationship with a filipino right yes yes so we name these types of behavior What's the first one? We have the siren. So siren, wow. Yeah, the same what, as a siren. What a name. They, what do you think, guys? They're loud. They don't stop, and pretty much they would really irritate your ear. <laughs> We're talking about those loud mouths. Yeah, too noisy, guys. Like, yeah. oh my god, I need to cover my ears. Yes, because they would really scream at you. What? The like that <laughs> they don't have the patience they don't adjust they will not give you any space at all they will just scream and shout like the same as a siren yeah there's no room for you to talk to express your um, emotion or feeling that's <laughs> no it room, guys no room for you to explain your side <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next one the next one, I would say this behavior, I can relate to this as a baseball player. Mm -hmm. Baseball so, player? There's a pitcher and there's a thrower. They're the same as a baseball. So there are also behaviors such as a thrower, guys. So you are a pitcher, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this Filipina will throw things at you. It's like you're doing baseball. Okay, you have to prepare yourself. Okay, I will catch this thing or things. <laughs> you need to have the agility as a cat. 
<laughs> and prepare yourself to also catch everything too. <laughs> okay, so there are Filipinas that they will throw things at you. Yeah. Anything that she can grab. Anything that she could grab, especially if she is in the momentum that she's really angry already. And that's the point that you need to cover. You need to duck and you need to roll. So if you <laughs> can encounter that kind of Filipinas, much better for you to go out. <laughs> go out and just give her time. Give her time. <laughs> yeah, because you would really spend a lot of time buying new things. <laughs> Next is the MMA fighter. Wow, so. <laughs> that's scary, huh? Ask me and Roger, what name is that? Yeah, this type of behavior is really scary because there are, there are Filipino women that they express their anger through physical hitting. So they would punch you, they would kick you, they would pinch you. I would call them the MMA fighter because Whenever they're mad, they would always physically hit you in yes, a way. And we know that that's really true and it's the reality of some Filipinas here in the Philippines. Yes, there are Filipinos like that. Maybe you're thinking that, oh, I don't think so, that Filipinas are shy, Filipinas are timid. No, there are Filipinas like that. Yeah, you will encounter an MMA fighter, guys. So you have to train yourself. <laughs> in order for you to protect yourself guys of course we we're not advising you to to fight her back but dodge if you will <laughs> <laughs> or buy a punching bag so that she can release her anger next the great pretender oh uh, great yeah. it's like a song is me <laughs> <laughs> you can sing the real lyrics great pretender <laughs> so the same as the song goes, guys. There are Filipino women that they would act that it's okay, that it's fine, <laughs> but deep inside, they're already really angry. Like every piece of material or things that she would hold, she would like. Yes. yes. That's true, guys. <laughs> That's true. So behind your back, you have to be careful. <laughs> You have to be cautious without knowing that maybe she will apply. <laughs> she would throw. Throw things or hit you or she will become an MMA fighter. <laughs> because those types of women, they would try to build up their anger. And when the time comes that that anger would like sprout. It's like a water. If the water is already full in the container, it will spill out. Or overflow. So these great pretender is one of the things that you need to be cautious because they would act nicely first and whenever you turn your back <laughs> then they can be an MMA fighter at the same time a thrower. That's true guys. So next. The final one. The zipper. So this is the most common one guys for Filipino women. So they would just shut their mouth as the same as a zipper mm. so they would not talk to you up until they would ease up or cool down or she's okay yes because i would say if i would choose um women like from one to five i go with the zipper one <laughs> it's much safer <laughs> All you need to do is to wait. You can enjoy yourself doing something. <laughs> yeah. Leave her alone. Because <laughs> zipper behaviors are, I would say, they would like to have their own peace. They want to have their space. Zipper personality of a Filipina. So the tampo is there and the cold uh, treatment or silent uh, treatment is there. So if you choose one to five, much better to choose number five. Yeah, it's true, guys. It's way better. You would think, guys, that it's just fun and jokes. No, it's a reality. We're just explaining at the side for Filipino women because they cannot express themselves and they have lack of words to say. So that's the reason why we're trying to explain it to you. You know what guys, they just prefer to uh, 
shut their mouth in order for them to to cut the conversation or the argument so that's why you will conclude that your partner that your filipina is on tampo yes and it's better to also make a joke like oh you don't want to argue with me because you don't have words to say right <laughs> yeah you can do that <laughs> so i guess that's pretty much about it thank you so much for watching till the end see you in our next vlog no hate just love bye, bye!